This issue is far too important to the security of our nation, to our civil liberties, and to do otherwise. As we all know, as stated over and over again, there's an historic tension that is, uh, dates back to the founding of our republic, of keeping us safe from those who would do us harm, and protecting the rights and liberties of American citizens. It has been a tension that has been debated and argued for more than 200 years. And FISA, the adoption of that legislation three decades ago, created the means by which that balance could be struck, allowing us to do what's necessary to protect us against those who would do us harm, while simultaneously guaranteeing that those rights and liberties we enjoy as Americans would be protected in these circumstances. It is a critical point to maintain that balance. My fear is this legislation, particularly with retroactive immunity here, upsets that balance significantly. As I've said, Mr. President, I'll repeat here in closing. Had this been a few months, even a year, in the wake of 9-11, uh, had this administration had a record of, by and large, supporting the rule of law, I would not stand here and demand uh, that we not include retroactive immunity under those circumstances. But, Mr. President, there has been a pattern of behavior by this administration. From the very outset, we now know that these warrantless wiretaps began in January or February of 2001, not in the wake of 9-11. So even prior to the tragic events of September 11, 2001, this administration had begun a pattern of seeking warrantless wiretaps on average American citizens here without the court orders provided under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. But of course it went on for five years and would still be ongoing were it not for a whistleblower and a report in a major American newspaper uncovering uh, this, uh, this program. So this went on for five long years, uh, midst, if you will, in a pattern of behavior by this administration. And I don't think I need necessarily enumerate the examples of that pattern, uh, beginning with Abu Ghraib and secret prisons and rendition, habeas corpus, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the list goes on and on and on and on. I can't undo those mistakes, Mr. President. But they are more than just mistakes. They are tragic, uh, tragic uh, 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 examples of this administration's trampling all over the rule of law. What we can do this evening, and what we can do in the coming days, collectively, Democrats and Republicans, is pass a FISA bill, much of which is included in the work of Senator Rockefeller and Senator Bond. There'll be some objections, obviously, and some amendments that will be offered. But to get our work done, pass this legislation, and move on to other business. The issues are far too important to leave them otherwise. Mr. President, I thank again Senator Rockefeller for leaving me some time and urge that our colleagues vote against the cloture motion when that moment occurs. I yield the floor, Mr. President.